Hey there, this is Red. It's time for an episode of Red Plays. All right, what we're doing today is we're going through Mint Cooperative. We're going to do a solo game of Mint Cooperative. Now, actually, Mint Cooperative, when you play solo, you're actually playing three players. Uh, so I'll just be controlling three separate players. Now, normally you could play three or four players. If you play two players, each person controls two heroes solo. One person controls three heroes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right. So I've got my little, like, setup sheet here. We'll go through, and I've got most of the board set up. Not quite all, but pretty close to all of it. So step one is you put Mintopia City in the middle. Um, let me put our six other town cards around it, which we've got. Step two is to place three white mints, and luckily... We're double checking because I missed one right there. So we're going to do three white mints in the leftmost slots on the town's freshness tracks, which is what we've got there. Um, choose one villain card to be the antagonist for the game. All right, and we're going to choose Nick Oteen right here. He's going to be our bad guy. Salty from playing secondhand to his maniacal mother, Nick Vitas, now unleashes his own brackish brand of odiferous offenses wow okay so he's the tarnished tooth thief all right so there we go so we're going with nicotine now it says um we recommend nicotine for your first game place this card next to the county map place one red mint on the regional panic track on the number indicated on the villain's card so the number indicated on the villain's card is this right here which is four so we're going to put our red mint on four, and that's our regional panic. So if all, the panic goes all the way up to here, we're done. All right. Um, next up is separate the mayhem cards, which are these cards right here that say, surprisingly, mayhem on them. Surprise, surprise. Those are our mayhem cards. All right. So we're going to separate those out. We've got three of those, and it says shuffle the trouble cards, which are these purple cards right here. And they have where the mints are going to go away at. So we're going to take these, we're going to shuffle them up, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It says separate the mayhem cards from the rest of the trouble cards. Create three piles of four each. So we're going to go one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. Three piles of four each. All right, we're going to put a mayhem card in each one. Mayhem card, mayhem card, mayhem card. Then we're going to shuffle this up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I don't pay very close attention while I'm shuffling, so it's very easy for me to get lost. If I was somebody that counted cards, I would probably know exactly where those Mayhem cards are, but I don't pay that close attention because I like playing the game, and it's funner that way if I don't pay attention. So I have no idea where these are going in here. There's pile number two. And we're gonna shuffle up pile number three in just a second here. And we're almost done. Whoa, I almost dropped them. That would've been bad. Okay, there we go. We have our piles. All right. Um, place three stacks on top of each other to form. That's the trouble deck. All right, so all the other trouble cards are gonna go off to the side. You could potentially use them if you're using some of the other villains, but we're not, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, let's see here. If, ooh, shuffle the stunt cards and place them face down to the side of the playing area near to the trouble deck. So here's our stunt cards. And we're gonna shuffle them. There we go. And we'll put them near trouble cards. All right. If playing against a villain that requires events, we're not, so we're not gonna worry about that part, but it would shuffle the remaining trouble cards to create an event deck. We don't have to worry about it. Right, place the regional panic card and the action dice reference cards near the county map. So there's our regional track, there's our dice reference. I think we're good there. I'll give each give each player a hero card. So that's what I have right here is the three hero cards that we're gonna use. And the matching hero meeple. Each character places their meeple on the town card that matches their color and name. All right, so I have Citizen Cinemite, and she's got a special ability that says, up to three times, run to another location, and then mint one. Add one additional mint to your final destination. All right, and she's over here on Cinnamon Center. Then we have 
Fantastic Freshman. Reroll any of the dice still in the action pool. This does not count as a trouble roll. All right, and he's over here in Freshman Falls, Freshness Falls. Then we have General Gumdrop. Add mints to your current town until no panic is exposed. Then reduce regional panic by the number of mints added. All right, General Gumdrop is up there up top. All right, and Gumdrop Gully. All right, so we've got our shoe rows out. We've got some decks out there. It says the player with the freshest breath is starting player, which when there's only me, I guess I win. All right, and that means my breath doesn't have to be that fresh, so... Yes. All right. Um, deal one stunt card to the first three players. All right. Well, I am the first three players. So one, two, three. All right. Let's see what we got here. So our stunt cards are one is walk a mile in their shoes, and I can use a three in order to play that. Use any player's heroic feat, including your own. All right. Then we have roll out. All players may run to a valid location. Reduce regional panic by two. And we have our final one there is got a monologue in. Do not draw any event cards during the next trouble phase. All right. And there's a little first player token. We'll put it here by citizen cinemite. Okay. Um, do, do, do. And then we're into the game. All right. So we are into the game at this point in time because we've gone through all of the setup rules that are over here and our massive set of rules that we're going through. We're now here to gameplay. All right. So it's a nice thing. It's like, it's like a couple of big pages. That's all there is to this game. It's fantastic. All right, so the active player is going to roll all four action dice. So these are our action dice. We can give them a roll. Boom. All right, we got a six and a six and a two and a one. Now, normally I would have doubles and we would uh, be looking at checking for trouble. But since this is the first round, so I'm going to roll all four dice. It says check for trouble. Skip this step on the first turn of the game and we're at the first turn of the game so perfect um now what's going to happen is the active player is going to take one of these dice and do something with it so i can use it this card here tells me what i can use just the face of the die for so mint one means i get to put two mints on the city that i'm in mint two is the same run means i get to go to an adjacent place uh, fly means I can go anywhere, then reduce the panic by three. Heroic feat means I can use my superpower. Then exploit weakness is special. And since I have two sixes, we should take a look at that. I need to take nicotine here and flip him over on the backside. And that's what I can do with sixes is this cold turkey right here, which is reduce the regional panic. Now this shows what happens if I had, uh, we'd been doing the trouble thing because I had doubles, we'd be resolving two trouble cards. If I only have one that's in the, the black dice, which is four, five, or six, I have to have one that at least hits that. Once I hit that, if I have one that hits that, I get a resolve trouble cards. If I have, like if I roll a four, which is a black one, but I roll two twos, I still get doubles that says resolve two trouble cards. So, um, and then there's there's one for three, so... Hopefully, I don't roll three of a kind, but that's how that goes. All right, so we're going to put this up here. So we could reduce regional panic by three, but I think I want to build some mints up because what happens is when these trouble cards come out, if there's more mints revealed or these panics right here, the more of those that get revealed, the more panic is generated. So I'm trying to avoid those. Now looking at these, I don't have any ones or twos, and I don't have any six special powers, which is kind of annoying. So I think what we're going to start off with is we're going to have cinema, Citizen Cinemite is going to go ahead and mint one. So she's going to use the mint one, mint one. All right, and we're going to have... Uh, 
Freshness falls. Fantastic Freshman here is going to use one of the sixes. And he's going to use that to exploit weakness, which Cold Turkey reduce regional panic by three. So we're going to take it down three to one. All right. And then, whoop, this was a six. And General Gumdrop right here is going to use the two to mint two. And we're going to bring Gumdrop Gully up to full stock. All right. Looking pretty good. There's our first round. Now, the game's going to end when I get through all three Mayhem cards or we hit 27 on the track there. So we either panic and everybody freaks out or we get through all the Mayhem. All right, so once I've used three dice, uh, the turn is going to start over at that point in time. So um, we did our taking available action. We do clockwise. So play proceeds clockwise with each player taking an active player meeple and one of the remaining action dice performing its effect, which I did when only one unused action die remains. At the start of the player's turn, all players discard their stunt cards used and unused. All right, we're going to get rid of our stunt cards used and unused. New stunt cards are dealt to the first three players. Two. Three. And then we go back up to the beginning. So we're going to roll again. All right. Boom. Okay. So now we actually have to do the thing, which is check for trouble. All right. So we're at step one and we roll all four dice and it's kind of tough to see, but I've got a six, two fives and a three there. I don't know if, uh, now think it's going to get any better no matter where I put them. I could roll them up here underneath the thing, but I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to roll them over here. I'll have to tell you, and you'll have to pay attention. So I have a, a six, two fives, and a three. All right, so now we got to check for trouble, and we have trouble because we have some of the black, the black colored dies, four, five, or six. A trouble afoot when there's only... One unused action die remaining, the new active player rolls all four dice and places it next to the action dice reference card. The result of this roll will cause all kinds of problems for the heroes to deal with. Depending upon the values of the dice and the number of matching dice, one of the following will occur. All dice have face value of three or less, even if there are doubles or triples. No trouble. Players take their turn as normal. So that's kind of like a free round, which is pretty awesome. But uh, that's not what happened this turn. So next up is at least one die has a face value of four or higher, but none of the dice have matching values, which is trouble. But that's not what I've got. I've got doubles. So two dice have the same value or two pairs of dice have the same value. Example, two ones and two fives. I get double trouble. All right, then you also have three or more dice have the same face value, triple threat. Well, we don't have that. We just have double trouble. Thank you. So we're going to do, it says resolve two trouble cards. So we're going to flip and resolve two trouble cards. So our first trouble card we're going to take and flip is, all right, so we see three mints and it's just the one in the middle is in red there. So what that means is uh, resolving a trouble card for each town on the trouble card highlighted in red. So that's just Mentopia City. Remove the number of mints shown on the trouble card from that town's freshness track. So we're going to take three off of there. Ouch. All right. If there are fewer mints on the track than there are printed the trouble on the trouble card, just remove all of them. All right. Then increase the red mint on the regional panic track by the total number of visible panic symbols in the target town. If either, one, there are no mints left on the track, Two, at least one new panic symbol was revealed on the town's freshness track. All right, so we removed at least one mint. And then, okay, so it's not just removing one mint. It's at least one new panic symbol was revealed on the town's freshness track. So if I had been at four and one had been removed, I would have been okay because none. But I did see another symbol. So we're going to take three off of here. And now our panic is going to go up by four. I think that's right. Yep. 
number of panic symbols that are visible. So we see four. So it's going to go up to five. Ouch. Okay, that hurt. That was the first one. So let's see what our second one is. Number two is, wow, three again off of the one in Freshness Falls. All right. So one, two, three. And that's going to give us three regional panic. Yikes. So one, two, three. Okay. Well, that's all of our trouble cards, so that's good. Now we're back to being able to do our turn. All right, so what we're looking at is we've got a three, some fives, and the sixes. Let's take a look at what we've got for our abilities here. So this ability is a four, which doesn't do us any good because we don't have any fours. All right, next one up we have is possible as an assemble. So an assemble says, choose any town, fly two heroes, there and add three mints. Ooh, that one looks really good. So I think we're going to hold on to that one. That's fantastic freshman. He needs a three in order to do that one. So I think we're going to be doing that one. Uh, and then we have also we've got uh, I've got this, which takes a four. It says perform any two of the following three actions, but we're not going to be able to do any of them anyway because we don't have a four, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. The other thing that we need to look at is we have we could potentially do some heroic feats here. Um, so Simpson Cinemite could, I think we're going to do that. We're going to do, we're going to use one of our fives for Citizen Cinemite. And her thing says, up to three times, run to another location, then mint one, add one additional mint to the final destination. All right. So up to three times, run to another location and mint one. So we're going to run to another location and mint one. We're going to run to another location in Mint 1. And then we're going to run to another location. And this time we get to Mint 2. This is my final destination. So we're going to Mint 2. All right. Um, now I have a 3 that I think I'm going to use. It says I can fly... Choose any town, fly two heroes there, and add three mints. So the obvious choices are those, but I'm kind of waiting for General Gumdrop there. And General Gumdrop has add mints to your current town in toll. No panic is exposed and reduce the regional panic by the number of mints added. So what I think I'm going to do is for our choose any town, fly two heroes there and add three mints. I think we're going to fly this one. Oh, 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 I had that confused because I was thinking that she was there. Oh no, I want to actually, hmm. See, Gumdrop's got some cool stuff, but, uh, He's not really going to be able to use his superpower there. All right, we're going to fly these two. Actually, let's go ahead and fly her. Her, I think it's two. I think it's two women there. We're going to fly them over to Mintopia City and we're going to Add three mints. All right, so we're going to do one, two, three. All right. Now, the next thing is I could exploit weakness, which would take it down by three, or I could do my general gumdrop ability, which is add mints to your current town until no panic is exposed and reduce the regional panic by that much. So that's kind of interesting. So I could take it down by three or I could add one, which would end up reducing it by one. I think we're going to go with that one and use our superpower here. So we get to add one and then we reduce the regional panic by the number of mints added, which is one. Okay. So that's going to round out our turn. We're going to take our dice off of here. We're going to get new stunts and then we're going to roll our dice. All right, so one, two, three. 
All right, let's roll the dice, see what we come up with. All right, so we have a four, three, and two twos. Two and a two. Let's move this over just a little bit. We've got a four right there. All right. Now, we're going to check for trouble. Fortunately, there's one. We got one in that second rank, so we get to do one trouble card. So our trouble card is, or which is the mayhem card yet? Mayhem! All right, let's see what happens when mayhem comes out. So mayhem cards. Shuffled among the trouble cards are mayhem cards. When one of these are revealed, perform the following steps. Increase regional panic by the total number of visible panic symbols across all towns. All right, so we've got one two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go up six. We're up to 13. Uh-oh. We're almost, we're not quite halfway there, but pretty close. And it says, perform the special mayhem effect indicated on the villain card, if any. And Nicotine does not have any mayhem thing because he's, he's the starter guy. So that's good. All right. So no nasty mayhem thing. Uh, if it's the last of the Mayhem cards in the Trouble deck and its effect did not trigger a losing condition, the heroes have defeated the villain and win the game, but we're not there. There's two more Mayhem cards. So one down, two to go. All right, so we're through with the Trouble. The Trouble ended up being Mayhem. We've got some new abilities over here, but there are, two of these are five. So there's a, I've got a plan, which takes a five. And uh, for Great Justice, which takes a five. But there's a four here that's, I'm on my way. Fly to another location, admins, until no panic is exposed. That could be very handy, but that's on General Gumdrop. All right, so we've got a run and mint one, I think. Let's start, well, see, the problem here is she can't really do anything. I want to save that for for General Gumdrop, I think. So we're going to hold off on that for General Gumdrop. We've got a three here, which says I can run in Mint 1. So let's do that for Citizen Cinemite. So she's going to run and mint one. So let's have her run up here. I'm going to have her mint one. All right. Fantastic freshman. Can use that to mint two. Bop, bop. That's kind of a waste, but... Um, so I can use my four over here, which is a fly to another location, admins until no panic is exposed. So I think we're going to fly over here to Peppermint Pines, and we'll add a mint so none are exposed. All right, and that was our four. All right, so that concludes our hero turn yet again. We're going to get rid of these. I'm going to get three new stunts. One, two. We're going to take our old pile and shuffle them up. Do, 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 do. I think we're doing all right. Well, actually, we've only got one mayhem out of there. I need to get that regional panic down. We've got a lot of mints on the board, but the panic's pretty high. So I think I need to do something to reduce that panic. I think that's going to be our goal in the near future here. All right, we're going to roll our dice. Let's see what we come up with. Boom. All right, so we have a one. We got a six. Oh, and another six and a two. So that means we get double trouble. All right, so we're going to double our trouble here. So trouble card number one is... Uh, oh, we're going to lose one mint off of four places. All right, so it's going to be... This one's going to lose one. We didn't reveal any new stuff, so that's good. This one's going to lose one. Didn't reveal anything new, so we're okay. This one's going to lose one, and we revealed a new one, so our panic goes up by one. And this one reveals one. All right. 
That was part one of Double Trouble. Let's see what's part two of Double Trouble. Part two of Double Trouble is... Oh, look at that. That's two off of everything in the middle. Oh my gosh, I think that's going to be bad. All right, we're definitely going to need to cut down on panic after this round. All right, so I'm going to take two off of here. And we now have go up two. Ouch. Okay, we're going to take two off of here. Oh, we're going to go up two more. All right, we're going to take two off of here. It's going to raise us up one. Yikes. Get an eye on the track here. I'm going to take two off of here. Uh, that's two more. We're up to 21. Two off of here. That shows two more. We're up to 23. Holy cow. Okay, bad. All right, so... That we got through the villain stuff there, but we're in rough shape. Now, the good thing is we've got two exploit weaknesses, which will help drop that panic down, but that's not going to get us a lot of mints back out there, which is a pretty big problem. All right, and we can't really use any of our special abilities because that's a five, a three, and a four, and we don't have any of those numbers. So we're kind of out of luck. We can't use a heroic feat because that takes a five. This is going to be a tough round. All right, so what are we going to do here? Um, I think we're going to have two people reduce regional panic and somebody's going to mint to. So who do we have meant to? I think we have, we're going to have uh, General Gumdrop there meant to. So we're going to start off with Citizen Cinerite is going to exploit weakness, which is reduce regional panic by three. So we're going to go down to 20. All right, Fantastic Freshman's going to do the same. Down to 17. Got a little bit of breathing room there. And then General Gumdrop is going to mint two. So we're going to do one, two. All right. And that was a rough round. So we're going to get rid of all of our stunt cards, which we made absolutely no use of. We're going to get three new ones. One, two, three. All right, so we've got a walk a mile in their shoes rollout, and I've got this. All right, so, um, yeah. Let's see if we can do better this round. Now, I guess the thing is, every four cards, there's going to be a mayhem. So I've got a 50-50 chance of hitting a mayhem. And if I double trouble, I think I will be, let's see, there's four cards. No, so I've got a, of the four cards, let's see if I can do math. So I've used one of the next set of four cards. So I've got a 33% chance of getting one. So we'll see. All right, let's roll four. And we get, oh my gosh, we got... Double sixes, again, so we're going to do a double trouble. We got a heroic feat, which is good. We got a mint two. All right. Um, let's see how this goes. All right, double trouble. Number one is three off of the bottom one. All right, so we're going to take one, two, three, and that's going to give us two on the panic track. Boop. All right. Now I think we're 50-50. We get, ooh, three off of the one on the left bottom. So one, two, three. And that reveals two panics. So up two or up to 21. Okay. Yikes. All right. So what are we going to do at this point? Now, I think we've got a mayhem coming out here. When the mayhem comes out, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Holy cow, that's that's a lot. So we need to, we can reduce it by a bunch. We can do one of my heroic feats. Uh, we can't do any of the stunts. So heroic feats are, let's see here. So General Gumdrop's got a nice one there, which is the admins to your town until... No panic is exposed, and then I get to reduce it by that amount. So that would be really good where she's at. Um, 
Fantastic Freshman can reroll a die, which isn't great, and Citizen Cinerite can run around, but her run around and place a couple of mints I don't think is going to help as much as General Gumdrop's ability there. All right. The other thing we've got out there is I've got a mint two. So maybe if I mint two here, either one of those, if I mint two, it's going to get us past another panic, which would be pretty good. So I think we're going to use that for Spearmint Springs. We're going to mint two. And we're going to cover up that panic icon. All right. For Fantastic Freshman, we're going to use a six, which is a reduced regional panic by three. So we're going to knock it down to 18. And then we're going to use our heroic feat on General Gumdrop, which says add mints to your current town until none are exposed. And then I get to reduce the regional panic by that amount. So I get to add four mints, which is good. One, two, three. Four, and then I get to reduce panic in the region by four. All right. So we're going to go from 18 down to 14. Hopefully that should be enough to get us through the next round. We shall see. All right. So these are going to go away. Our next card should be a mayhem card, right? I think we're at the 100% uh, chance of getting a mayhem card. All right. Let's roll and see what's in store for us. Oh, we get double sixes again. We got a one, a two, a six, and a six. I need these dice when I play Battletech. These are uh, not rolling well. I don't think they're rolling very well for me. I could use like some fives and fours. I really need my heroic feats, I think. All right, so we've got doubles, which means we have double trouble again. So we're going off the top here, and this is, should be a mayhem. Yep, it's a mayhem. All right. So we're going to look at our panics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to go up eight. So we're going to go from 14 to 22. Ouch. And then we're going to do our second trouble card, which could be... Potentially another mayhem. Is that right? One, good. One, two, three, four. No. Am I doing this right? Is it three in a mayhem and three in a mayhem? No, it's four and then a mayhem is what it was. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How do I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? How did I end up with 14 and 3 cards? Something's not adding up right here. Oh, that's why. It's 15. There's another card hidden in there. So it was 4 plus 1, so we should have been at 5 cards. Okay. All right. Anyhow... We need to do another card, which means it shouldn't be a mayhem because we shouldn't be far enough down there to get that. Here's our second trouble card is one off of five, the five middle ones. All right, so we're going to take one off of here, and that's going to take us up three. One, two, three. Uh-oh. One off of here, that's going to take us up two. Oh, we lost. Our panic, we panicked out. So there we go up another two. One, two, we're like way over here. We're going to go up another one. We go up here, we go up three. We're like way out over here. Oh, the heroes couldn't save the day. All right. So there was our, our first go at Mint Cooperative on kind of the easy mode with Nicotine. And we got a loss. All right. So the one thing I want to double check when I did my setup, it was, yep, it was four cards plus one. So um, I rolled an extraordinary amount of sixes. And I don't think I could build up my mints like I would have liked. Could have used a lot more fours. The fours and the fives allow me to, uh, like, move around. They allow me to use my cards. And I didn't really get much of that. So I think the double sixes hurt me because it got me double trouble. And... 
I could reduce the panic a little bit, but I couldn't get enough mints out there to, to cover up the, the panic that was coming out on the board. So, I don't know, fun game, pretty short game. I think we're about half an hour in maybe, and I did a lot of talking, right? So if you're playing this yourself, you could probably do it in 15, 20 minutes maybe. Um, I did have some of the setup done ahead of time, but really there's not a lot of setup and not a lot of rules as you saw here. So I think we'll give this one another go at some point here, but that's kind of an introduction to Mint Cooperative. I like it. It's pretty easy. Like Hero Game would be great to play with kids because it's not too complex. Little bit of complexity in your heroes and figuring out what's going on here and who's going to take what action. Um, it's kind of when, when you're playing solo, it's a little bit easier to figure out, but you may have to do some negotiation. Um, and you could run into the alpha gamer type thing where someone's deciding what everybody else has to do. Um, but you know, you're picking an order, so you're going to choose no matter what the other person says anyway. So you get to take your die. Uh, four player, you're going to be rotating the, the first player token a little bit more frequently than you are in three player here. But uh, and the stunts are pretty neat. They're interesting. They do a lot of interesting things. I just didn't get to use a whole lot of them this game. But it's fun. I like this game. Light fits in a little mint tin. I mean, that's that's the size of the box for this game. And it plays pretty simply. And it's over pretty quick. And since I lost, I can go at it again. And it won't be a big time sink. So anyway, that's Mint Cooperative. That's it for now. And thanks for watching. Wah, wah, wah.